guys welcome back to another video so i worked at the rogers center for i would say at least a year it's a minimum wage paid job there is no interview they pretty much accept anyone there is also no training you just basically learn on the job back when i worked at the rogers center baseball was huge i think it was because jose bautista was on our our Toronto Blue Jays team. There also is no uniform for this job. It's more of a dress code. You just have to wear black pants, black shoes, and they give you a colored t-shirt to wear depending on which job you have. And you just get like a name tag. I was a concession stand worker, so I got a light blue t-shirt. And I also had to wear a hat and you have to tie your hair back and you can't wear any like bracelets or watches. When you accept a shift at Rogers Center nobody really tells you where anything is you kind of have to just like figure it out on your own I was lucky because my mom also took shifts so she told me where everything was and there's a change room and then you have to put your bag and your coat in a bin and you go upstairs and you have to sign it in and out to be honest rogers center wastes a lot of food at the end of the day or at the end of your shift you have to throw out all the food or you can take it home there would be permanent workers there so they would show the temporary staff people who would take like shifts like every now and then like me what to do so i remember prepping nachos prepping hot dog buns making popcorn and prepping wraps, as well as making slushies and taking people's orders. I remember my first shift there, I was prepping nachos and I had to take like people's orders and it was a lot. I was basically in charge of the whole stand there and it was like my first time. I remember like the, there was two ladies in the back behind me who were making sandwiches and one of them would always be like yelling, porchetta, porchetta. <laughs> You also aren't allowed to eat at your stand, so when you take a break, you have to find the break room, which is very hard to find. I don't think they have a break room on every level. So I remember people would eat their food during their break and they would like squat down very low. So like when you pass by a concession stand, you don't see like there's anyone there. They would be like sitting crouched down or they would like open a cupboard and they would like sit inside and eat their food. So I found that a little bit strange. I had a lot of bossy permanent workers like bossing me around or like supervisors and they would always be like hurry up hurry up or they would make you feel bad for not knowing what to do when you're the temporary worker and I was always like nah I'm not gonna speed up because this is like a minimum wage job I'm only here for the day I don't really care I don't even think we got a discount on like the gift shop or food seeing how much they waste food hurts because they had like tons and tons of food left over like every shift and I feel like they should just start a nonprofit or like a food place for people in need and just take all the leftover food and dump it there and lastly I just want to say that I I would not recommend taking a job at the Rogers Center as a concession stand worker because the permanent staff or like supervisors they overwork you they rush you and they kind of nitpick on every little thing even though it's like you're learning something new like every shift and you're not used to the environment so yeah that's basically it i only did the job for about a year and i didn't work that many shifts i just did like shifts every now and then to earn extra money and that's pretty much the role of a concession stand worker and how it is and yeah with that being said i will see everyone in another video